two, three, go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Gian's World of Science. Hey guys, welcome to Gian's World of Science. Yay! Yay! Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Gideon's World of Science. This is our second episode where we do cool, fun science experiments from home. All out of basic stuff that you either have lying around the house or really cheap stuff that you can go and buy at the stoa. So this episode is all about, can you say, force and motion. Force and motion. Force and motion. Basically, there's some energy stuff, but anyway, I'm not a science teacher. We will make Sir Isaac Newton proud. Yes, it did. All right, so first one, are you ready for this one? Yep, all we need, we need a ball, a dollar to put on top, and these, Quarters. What this is, is just a basic experiment showing how inertia works. Inertia. Inertia is basically when something will remain unchanged, whether that's sitting still or in motion. If something's sitting still, it's gonna stay sitting still. If something's moving, it's gonna keep moving unless acted upon by an outside force. That's actually Newton's first law. Did you know that? Yeah! Yes! I'm surprised you knew yes. that. Normally, if you were to just grab this dollar bill and yank on it, try that. <gasps> The coins fall. Gideon was an outside force and grabbed the dollar bill, pulling on it, making the quarters fall. We're gonna try to create least amount of friction as possible, and we're gonna pull on this dollar bill super fast. In fact, we're gonna karate chop it. Are we ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Oh! High five, dude! I got one point! We did it! So we basically didn't. what happened was Gideon moved the dollar bill fast enough to where we didn't create hardly any friction and that dollar was able to slide out from underneath the coins leaving them in place. Oh. We're gonna up the ante a little bit. You ready? Yeah. One, two, two three. three, you ready? Yeah. <gasps> You're not ready, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Almost feels good as a marker flip. Yeah. Okay, so this one is also about inertia. This one's a little bit cooler. What we're gonna do is all you need is a glass with a little bit of water in it because it adds some weight. We're gonna put the lid on top. Then we're gonna take a little roll of toilet paper. You wanna line it up to where it's directly over top of the glass, like yeah. so. And you, and you use an orange. But we're gonna use an orange. Okay, it'd be really easy, easy, easy. So you know how you did yours with the orange? Okay, just one by itself? Yes, and I hid it in a work in yeah. the cup. We're gonna up the ante. So we got five glasses here. We're gonna put some water in each uh, one. Green, blue, red, black, another red. The and color's not important. Green. We just wanted to do colored water to be fun. So we got five eggs on toilet paper rolls, on the plate, over five glasses. Daddy's gonna hit the plate and hopefully all five eggs drop in. Are we ready for this? Yes. You ready? One, two, Made it happen. Okay, Gideon. Now this one is more about force. We're gonna deal with, can you say centrifugal? Centrifugal. Pretty close. And centripetal. Centripetal. Centrifugal and centripetal force. So how we're going to demonstrate that is with a balloon with a penny inside. See? We're going to spin the balloon. And as we spin the balloon, we're going to create centrifugal force, which is pushing the penny outward towards the outside of the balloon. But centripetal force is actually the layer of balloon which is holding the penny inside, okay? Drawing it back towards the center. Are we ready? So all we gotta do is start spinning it. Spin, 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 See the penny inside? You can spin it like your Check it out. Can I try? You sure can. Perfect. Pretty cool, huh? Now this is the same experiment, only instead of a penny, we got a hex nut. You wanna show them how the hex nut works? Yeah. We put a hex nut in there. What it does is as those sides hit the edge of the balloon, it makes noise, it vibrates. So, get it spinning. Now, if you got a lot of these going at once, it'd probably make a lot of noise. I see a lot, I can get it. It's 
fun, isn't it? Science is fun. Okay, getting you ready for our next experiment? Yes. Okay, this one's more about energy. This is more like potential energy and kinetic energy. And we're gonna build, it's called a popsicle stick bomb. We're going to weave them across, and as you weave them a certain way under and over each other, building that potential energy, once it gets to the end, you create a trigger, we're gonna release it, and it's gonna create kinetic energy, and it's gonna go boom, and it's gonna blow all the way across the table. You ready? Let's start. With red. Red and orange. One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> this is Bob Bernoulli's principle. He was a guy from a long time ago who discovered stuff about air pressure. Okay, so we're balancing between low pressure and high pressure, okay? So we're gonna take his hair dryer. Do you think we can make this float? Yeah! It's almost like magic. Like magic? But it's not, it's science. Ready. Are you ready? Go. We're gonna try this again, only we're gonna up up the we're gonna up the airflow, okay? So check this out. This is another example of Bernoulli's principle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this toilet paper and watch, the daddy blows across the top of it. I'm blowing air across the top, but it's actually causing the bottom of it to lift up. Yes. And that's what we're gonna do. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay, get in. We're gonna do the hose. Yeah, we're ready. What? The balloon rocket. Let's have mommy come with us. Come on. You gotta come over here. Really fast. So we got a bunch of string here. Daddy tied it around the doorknob, right? I took a piece of straw, cut the piece of straw, put it on the string, okay? We're gonna try a big balloon first. This one gets really big. Really big. Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take tape. We're gonna try this with a big round balloon first. Now what we've done is we've filled this big balloon up with a bunch of pressure, okay? So air pressure is really high in there, and so there's particles that are just bouncing around like crazy, dying to escape. So what we're gonna do is we've got a clothespin on the end, we're gonna let it out, pressure's gonna release, and it's gonna send the balloon flying that way. Oh, the balloon! There it goes! Yeah! Yeah, that's it. Not bad! All right, now we got a cylinder-shaped balloon. We're gonna test to see if this one goes faster. Are we ready? Yeah. Mommy, you ready? Ready. Yep. One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you see how fast that was? Yeah, three, two, one, go! Whoa! That's a lovely Thank you for watching, you did World of Science. We did force and motion experiments, which was really fun. Um, we don't just do science videos, we do gaming videos. We do videos about toys, unboxing, and all kinds of stuff. Oh, and then the giveaway. It's up there. It's up it? there. It's about our giveaway video. Yeah. We're doing a 100 subscriber giveaway video. Yeah. So check that out. And Enter the contest. Yes. You can win a $25 yes. Amazon gift yeah. card. And on Facebook. Yeah, we're on Facebook. 
Uh, we always have a link to our Facebook page in the description. It's facebook.com forward slash Gideon's World. It keeps up with all the cool stuff that we're doing. We also do behind the scenes pictures and stuff like that. So be sure to check us out, like us, and follow us there. Click this button down and please subscribe. Like this video, leave comments if you got them. Any suggestions for upcoming videos? We do new videos every week, don't we? Yeah, and every single week. And who knows what we're gonna do next. Thank you for watching Gideon's World of Science. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. See you guys later, bye kids!